So what do you think is making the cut for this summer? I like Coastal Grandmother. You can never tell if it's like, is this on TikTok or is this real? <laughs> I have that same thought all the time. I'm like, this is just a thought. Yeah. Why is it becoming Is it a trend? A I don't trend. know. Yeah. At only 31 years old, Lindsay Peoples is creating waves in publishing. She's already received high praise, made history at Teen Vogue as the youngest editor-in-chief at Condé Nast, and now editor-in-chief at New York Magazine's The Cut. And she's advocating for change. You are living main character rom-com energy. <laughs> Do you remember what parts of magazines you were drawn to when you were a kid? It was just the storytelling. It was never just about the clothes. It was like how they weaved in the right photographer and the right story and bringing about the right tone and all of the things that just made it come together. I just remember feeling like it was a different world and I wanted to explore it. Lindsay started exploring with an internship at Teen Vogue in 2011, but her inspiration started much earlier than that. How did the women in your life shape your passions? I've just been so blessed to have an amazing family, women that really loved on me and encouraged me. I talk about my, my grandmother a lot because she was somebody specifically that really helped me figure out what I loved so much about fashion and she was dressed to the nines after work. The stockings, the dress, the shoes, the gloves. She walked with her head held high, no matter what. This solid support system helped lead Lindsay to early success. A few days shy of her 28th birthday, she landed the editor-in-chief job at Teen Vogue. You don't always want to have to make history, but you do. Mm -hmm. When you entered this industry, was that a mission of yours to make it count in a big way? I was tired of the same stories being told. I was tired mm -hmm. of the same people, you know, styling shoots and it not being inclusive. And so I felt like if I was going to do it, I wanted to do it differently. Doing it differently led her to a second editor-in-chief position at New York Magazine's The Cut, which averages over 10 million monthly unique readers. Shooting Naomi Campbell for our first fashion cover, I was just like, this is my first fashion cover. I really want to shoot somebody amazing and just come out with a bang. What is your hope for your readers? Anything that I can do to make it more inclusive, whether it be industry at large or in this job, I'll do. We just call these mood boards. All the images we make affect culture and beauty standards and all of that. And so it's really important to be able to show people different body types and sexualities and, and hair and, and identities overall to see different people like Tracy growing up, it, you know, meant so much to me. What's advice that you receive from other generations that you really put to use? There's a line in an Oprah book that I love that says, you cannot defeat someone who knows who they are. And I feel like a lot of it for me has been just knowing that there are certain things that I need to do to move the industry forward. Mm -hmm. I honestly never thought I would be an editor-in-chief, so I feel really grateful that I've been able to do this twice. I want to be a ladder. I want to help people up. And I want it to be a little bit easier for the next generation of, of women of color, for sure. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh, awesome. I know. so much to love. I know. And by the way, if I had covers like that when I was growing up, yeah. looking yeah. up to people, I mean, I would be different yeah. today. Yeah. I love wow. her saying, I want to be a ladder. I Thank know. you, Donna. And she FaceTimed her mom right after the interview. Oh, she Just did. shows, yeah, how, how it's all about awesome. family. That was awesome. Donna.